I'm going to show you how to test the engine coolant temperature sensor using simple diagnostics. Uh, I'll show you first of all where you would find it. You would find you get the radiator top hose and you just trace it back towards the engine. Although this is on a Volvo, you will find pretty much the same principle worked on um, most cars. And then if you trace the top hose to the engine, this is the thermostat housing here. So this contains the thermostat which controls um, water flow into the radiator. And this little thing here which is screwed in to the thermostat housing, um, this is your engine coolant temperature sensor or the ECT. And it's connected electronically to the engine computer, the ECU, and um, and that provides information to the um, computer with regards to coolant temperature and um, dependent on engines, different setups. That information can be used for fueling at startup, um, also when the engine's warmed up. Obviously, engines require different amounts of fuel dependent on temperature. And, um, and so if the information given from this is incorrect then um, you can have all sorts of running issues on the car, uh, fuel consumption issues as well so, uh, so it's essential that this works correctly. You can do multimeter tests on a sensor um, but you need specific values for the particular sensor for your car so the reason I'm doing diagnostics today is because it's a general test that really can apply to uh, to pretty much every vehicle. I've just got a thermometer which I've had outside as well the engine's absolutely stone cold it's been left overnight and we'll need the current ambient temperature there we go we've got a focus on that now so it's looking at around about what's that eight degrees eight degrees centigrade um, so uh, so that figure is going to be important in a sec so we'll go in the car get the diagnostic set up and I'll show you the three simple tests which you need to do to make sure your sensors working spot on okay so now we're in the car I'm going to connect this up to um, to the um, diagnostics, uh, see my other videos to uh, show you the uh, type of diagnostics I'm using. It's basically an ELM327 Bluetooth dongle um, and the uh, Talk Pro app uh, on Android. Uh, but you can use it with any diagnostic machine, these figures. So, um, so I'll turn on the ignition and remember outside it was showing eight degrees centigrade so the first test that you do and you do it on an absolutely stone cold engine um, is what you're wanting is the coolant um, really will be mirroring um, the outside uh, air temperature to within one or two degrees so what you're looking for is um, the uh, the coolant sensor to be registering um, the same temperature um, so it was eight degrees outside and when the coolant temperature comes up on the display what we're going to be looking for is a figure of eight degrees or certainly within one or two degrees of that if it is within one or two degrees then that's a great starting point as to uh, to show that the coolant temperature sensor has passed the first test so we're just waiting for it to connect up now and there we have it so we've got the coolant sensor registering six degrees so we're eight degrees according to the thermometer which uh, we had a look at outside and um, and the coolant sensor is within a couple of degrees so that's a brilliant first start so that's the first test passed the next test I'm going to start the engine um, what we're looking for then um, is very um, steady and consistent increases in temperature as the engine warms up. So what you're not looking for, you don't want the, um, the coolant temperature or the engine to think the coolant temperature is suddenly jumping from, you know, whatever the cold figure was, straight up to 30 degrees or 50 degrees. You don't want it bouncing around, going up and down. So I'm just going to turn on the engine and within a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds or so, you should register your first one degree increase in temperature and, uh, and that should be showing 
any second now. There we go. And because of the way a coolant temperature, a coolant temperature sensor is uh, designed, um, when the internals degrade on it, it can s suddenly, you know, be throwing out really spurious figures. So. You know, on startup, it might think that it's actually minus 30 when you know it might be 10 plus 10 degrees outside, or it might think, or the engine computer might be thinking that it's actually 30 degrees outside when it's only zero. So, um, so it's very important that the cooling temperature sensor shows the the outside temperature on startup. And as you can see now, it's just going up ever so nicely in small increments. So that's showing that as the engine is gradually warming up, the sensor is able to recognise very small increases in temperature. So that's another very good indication that the sensor is doing its job. So it's past the first two tests. The, the third and final test, I'm going to take it for a drive. Um, and all I'll be doing is I'll be observing the temperature increases. I won't be able to film this part. But what I'll be looking for at the end of the drive, about a 15-20 minute drive, um, when the engine's up to full temperature, I'll be looking for the coolant sensor to know that the engine is at full temperature. So on this particular car, um, the thermostat opens at 90 degrees, so I'm hoping that the highest value won't really be above too much above 90 degrees which will show the thermostat is opening at the correct temperature um, but also um, I'll be looking for the engine cooling temperature once the engine's warmed up to be showing in the high 80s um, around about 87 88 degrees so as we can see now that with the coolant temperature it's 85 degrees but on the drive it recognised um, a value of 90 degrees. Um, so that shows that the coolant temperature sensor has been able to, um, with all the tests that I've shown you, the temperature sensor was able to recognise um, within one or two degrees Celsius the, the um, cold temperature. Um, of the coolant. It also then responded nice and quickly once the engine started warming up and it recognised very small changes in one degree Celsius increases and it's also been able to hold steady at, um, at hot temperatures as well. So that says to me that the coolant temperature sensor is working absolutely fine and I hope you find those little tests useful.